Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another Excel video. Today we just want to add a little bit to a normal if statement. So you can see here, right now we have an if statement saying that if your average number that um, you get from your three exams is bigger than or equal to 50, it says that you've passed the course. So let's change this to 70. Um, calculate average and it says 53 you've passed the course so that's great but what I want to do is I want to make it so that if it says for example 73 but let's say we got um, over 80 it could say that you got an A or you got a B or you got a C you got a high distinction or something like that so that means we need to change our if statement to an if uh, if our else if statement. So let's go into our code by pressing Alt F11. Go into our code and we can see here that previously we have made an if statement saying if the value in the cell F9, so F9 is this number here, if that number is bigger than or equal to 50, say you've passed the course. Otherwise, say you haven't passed the course. So let's make that a little bit uh, more clearer. So I'm going to say if it is bigger than or equal to 83, then it'll say you received a high distinction a high distinction which is a really good grade high distinction okay and then if you receive a value bigger than or equal to 67 so other than else i'm going to say else if another capital i else if this value else if this value is bigger than or equal to 67 then we're going to output the value you received a distinction else if if you received a value bigger than or equal to 50 then you have received a pass or a credit or something like that else you failed okay so let's save this and see if that works so I'm gonna minimize that I'm gonna calculate the average and it says you've received a distinction but if I make it a little bit higher, calculate average, it says you received a high distinction. If I make it a little bit lower, a little bit lower again, you received a pass. Okay, and then if I make it even lower, it says you did not pass the course so it seems like it is working um, the next thing i want to do is i want to talk about how you would change the property a bit quicker if you want to change more than one thing so what am i talking about well let's go to the code again so let's say other than saying you received a high distinction i also want to set the color to something else okay so I also want to set the color of the text or the color of the background or something like that so if you didn't know a better way you would just go range F10 again and then go to the property that we're going to change so let's say we want to change the font color so we have the font and then we're going to change the color to another color. So 
let's say we want to change it to um, green. Okay, so if I save this, have a look, see if it works. Let's go 90, 90, 90, calculate average. It says green. Okay, it's got the green color. Now, instead of choosing, typing the name of a color, you could also pick a color out of the color index. So let's say that I want the color to be this color. So that's number seven. So I can just simply go dot, instead of dot color, I can put dot color index equals seven. And then that should give me that pink color. So you can see in the code that we had to put range f10 dot value range anytime where you have got the same thing typed out over and over again that's not a good thing because later on when you want to change this for example if i don't want it to be range f10 anymore i've got to go through and change everywhere where i have range f10 i've got to go through and change everything so that's why it's always better to be able to shorten the code. So the way you can do to shorten this is to use the with statement, with. So all the with statement does is we can just specify the object that we're going to change the properties of once. So I can simply say with this single range, with range F10, so just put F10 here. Okay, and what am I going to change? I'm going to change the value of F10. And I'm going to change the font color of F10. And I'm going to end the with statement. And that's it. So you can see here that I'm only using the range F10 once. So I could even change other things in this cell. So I can go font size equals in something a bit bigger, 14 or something like that. Safe. Run it. Okay, you received a high distinction. Okay, so that is the with statement. Feel free to play around with all this stuff. See you guys next time.